So in the first video of the sequence of yield videos, I had this example before even showing you the yield. I made this temporary list and filled it up with random numbers and then returned the list. And then using yield, I'm actually able to remove the list and just say yield return ran.next. Which is syntactically nice, and if you think about what happens here, this uh, this this doesn't cause uh, using yield doesn't cause that list to be created and allocated. We can just yield return the numbers as needed and just instantiate the object that the compiler creates and returns um, from this get random numbers. Okay, but I want you to think about something. Uh, say I uh, said get random numbers, and I didn't pass a count in here. Right, I just want some random numbers. And I want random numbers forever and ever and ever until I quit asking for them. Alright, so what we would instead instead of saying for int i, i less than count i plus plus, we just say, well, oopsie. We would say while true. Okay? So so now if I want to, I can iterate over this forever and ever and ever and in fact let's just run this and burn my processor up and maybe the screen recording program will crash because I'm doing this but but now I ha theoretically have this infinitely long list that I'm able to to just for each over and and uh, that's kinda cool and if I want to stop I can uh, let me just say you know if if uh, if I mod 100 is equal to 0 so if it's divisible by 100 then uh, let's break. And of course, I need curlies now because I've extended the body by four each. So, so if i is divisible by 100, then uh, break. Otherwise, let's print i. So, so this will run and stop even before I'm able to drag the window over in front of your face. But that's kind of cool because I decided out here as the consumer of what was returned by getting random numbers when I wanted to stop iterating over this infinite list. Now, if I wanted to go back to, if I, say I didn't have yield here, and I had to go back to doing that list implementation, that's going to be kind of difficult, because list int red gets new list, and then I need to fill red up with a bunch of random numbers, red dot add ran dot next ran dot next ran dot next ran dot next, forever and ever and ever. I, well, I can return red here, and this should compile just fine, but when I run it, it's going to crash. Because I'm going to eventually run out of RAM here. In fact, the compiler's smart enough to kind of put a, what is that, gray or green or whatever squiggly there and says, uh, unreachable code detected. The compiler's like, hey, you're going to get stuck in this loop and you're not breaking out of it. You're not doing anything. So you're never going to get down here. Anyway, so that's that's kind of a benefit of having, uh, a, a small benefit of having yield is we can have these infinitely long lists. Now something else I need to show you or I want to show you just to kind of wrap up the yield discussion uh, is break, yield break, so hopefully it's pretty straightforward. When you say yield break, that terminates iteration early. Okay, I can actually, if I want to, say, get random numbers here, I could be cheap and just, if I leave it empty, then, then the compiler's going to complain saying, hey, you need to return something. All right, but if I go down here and I say yield break, once I'm telling the compiler, hey, still generate that class, just there's, there's nothing here to iterate over, so... So, uh, <laughs> do nothing. <laughs> so now I don't even need this if. Let's just get rid of that and run it. Yield break. Kind of useless by itself, but maybe there's a condition. Maybe I want to get random numbers until we ha actually have one that's divisible by 100. So before I had the divisible by 100 check down here, the consumer of get random numbers had to do the check. But maybe we want to just uh, get... Uh, Maybe we want to do the check up here for whatever reason. So I'm gonna I'm gonna come up here and let's just say um, while true uh, int num gets ran dot next if num mod 100 is equal to zero. Oops, if that's equal to zero. Yield break. Okay. Otherwise, yield return num. Okay. Whew. Hopefully, that's not that. That makes sense. So basically, 
It's the same as we had before. In fact, if I just delete these two lines of code, Control X, um, we're just re returning a random number. But now we're checking and saying, hey, if, if you get one that's divisible by 100, then break. All right, so let's just, uh, again, down here, that made main a little cleaner. All right, so run it. And we get a bunch of random numbers. And I guess we stopped when we got one that was divisible by 100. Anyway, so that's yield break. I, not too common you need it, but sometimes in your for loops and stuff, you know, you, remember you can use the keywords continue and the keywords break, and they have their place, and, and so once in a while this does come up that you need to yield break when you're using yield.